This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for August 8th, 2024. It's currently June 26, 2024, 1.15 p.m. Eastern time. SPY at the time of this reading is $544.79 at USD. The shuffle video for the August 8th reading was created on June 19th, 2024 at 1.04 p.m. Eastern time. That's a video playing for you in the lower left corner. Excuse me, the, the overall theme and trend behavior for SPY throughout the 8th is a rally that turns over. So we have a rally Usually you'll, with a completion card, you'll see a rally that kind of turns over like a hump. It's more of a crest than a peak. Behavior on the highest side, we have bumping along resistance sideways at the high. Um, it's nullified, however, indicating that we probably have some sort of chart behavior that counteracts like the move into the highest counteracted by like a move out of it. Uh, behavior around the low, look at that, the, the art card, a prominent move higher and then a full retracement of that move back down similar to the energy here. Um, but what it means is that there's a low and then there's uh, we go higher and then there's another low. And then I'm advised to trade around uh, decline to and through support to meet another support. We rotate sideways along that second support. Um, and I love to trade in that uh, surrounding that type of chart behavior. Now we'll get into the whole purpose of the channel is to transmit some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. And we do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. That's a threefold agreement between the channel and anybody utilizing this information for personal gain. 5% of all profits should be donated forward to a charity. And you find them, them here on the resources tab of our website, Carol for Traders. And 5% of the profits should be donated back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use this app Wise, which is reliable, or you can use crypto. Um, when you click on the crypto tab, this is new. When you click on the crypto tab, you get all these QR codes. So you can donate in a bunch of different cryptos. Great way to help support the channel, my friends. Um, it's the right thing we do if you utilize this information regularly. And it leaves you at 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love. As long as you follow those rules, the universe considers you an angel investor of the channel. It's going to set it back to you tenfold for following through on that role. Not to mention you do that repeatedly and you get a free invite to our Discord server uh, only for angel investors. All right, with that said, so there's a lot of volatility in the pre-market. It looks like we open higher and then there's a lot of volatility in the pre-market. We should see some sideways rotation into the open with a big move higher at the open and then more sideways rotation. But that rally looks like turns over somewhere between uh, the open and let's say 11.15. So what we'll see is a lot of price change. Yeah, and this is probably a, a month's high, like a month's high or close here uh, in the first half hour. A lot of price change to the downside, and then we have a prominent move higher between roughly 10 and 11. And 11 prominent move higher followed by a full retracement that moved back down. The full retracement either takes place before 11 o'clock, and then there's more rally, or it takes place from a peak starting just after 11 o'clock, uh, down through multiple supports into a trough uh, before before 12 o'clock. Um, side look for sideways rotation there. Uh, so at the high, it would open up the short, close the short. When we do sideways rotation here after that sharp drop, somewhere between that's one place you could close the short between roughly 11 and 12. And then it looks like there's a peak midday. Uh, that one's a little tricky but there, there's a decline increasing with momentum moving forward in time between roughly 12 and 1 taking us into a low somewhere between 1 and 2 probably closer to 2 um but between 1 and 2 there's a rally along a diagonal trend line that ends with a fast sudden fire and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down decline continues between and that would be the second trade opportunity that decline um with increasing volatility on the way down taking us into a uh, a low probably slightly lower than the, the low between 11 and 12. there'll be a slightly lower one here before two o'clock more decline between two and three, and it, or probably turns into really erratic behavior there between two and the close, back and forth to the same price level. In the midst of that erratic behavior, we should see both a, a lowest low for the month thus far, and a revisiting of a crest that we recently met as an opportunity. Um, at the close, we have a sideways fluctuating rally that precedes a decline, and then in the post market, we have more rallying. The sneak preview for the ninth, we have an important price level on a one month chart scale minimum that's highlighted. Yeah, so if you don't want to do a day trade, exiting out here between 11 and 12, or just before two o'clock probably, if you don't want to do a day trade there, I would say hold it because you're going to be able to close it at a lower price level on the 9th. If there's opportunity, if there is a peak midday, this is kind of a precarious location. It's, it's not the most reliable indicator right here where it is, the way that it's positioned, but there might be a high here midday. And if there is a high here midday, then we would have a decline off of it, increasing with momentum moving forward in time. Um, I would open up a short position at that high midday or add to a short position at the high midday and close the short position here midday in the midday lows on the 9th. And that's SPY for August 8th, 2024. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. As always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You know where to go, you know what to do. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one.